Hey, what's up guys? Zeus and Zerilli here, and we are on the beautiful grounds of Glen Riddle Golf Club in Berlin, Maryland. Now, we're gonna throw some cool names out to you guys and let you know how these names tie into this amazing property. Tell them, Katie. Yeah, you guys ready? Man of War, War Admiral, Sea Biscuit, okay? So what do these names have to do with Glen Riddle Golf Club? We're gonna let you find out. From stables to a steakhouse. It, it was a lot of hard work. We worked seven days a week for a couple years straight. This beautiful building that houses Roos Chris was first a home for horses. It was their barn and um, the carpet underneath us was all dirt floors and in the middle of the building was all stalls and uh, the dirt perimeter was a walking track all the way around. This property was owned by Samuel Riddle and he was a horse trainer and he owned and trained two of the most famous horses in horse racing history, Man of War and War Admiral. And they lived here and trained here in the 20s and 30s. In 2006, Kim Ruark Mahaley and crew began developing Glen Riddle Golf Club. And when it came time to add an upscale steakhouse to the property, there was no question they wanted to go with Ruth's Chris. They serve um, prime beef. They have a great reputation. So they were our first choice. All right, guys, so we are here with front of the house manager, John Miles. John, thanks for having us, man. Oh, Chef, it's a pleasure. Pleasure. Katie, welcome to Ruth Chris. Uh, we have a great day in store, and uh, let's head on the kitchen. Let's check some things out. I, I can't, can't wait. I right. can't wait. <laughs> let's do it. Today we have a special treat. We're actually going to be preparing our 40 ounce tomahawk ribeye for you. 40 mm. ounces? That's right, so I hope we're hungry. <laughs> yeah. I'm starving. Yeah. yeah. I'm starving. So, yeah. how does one prepare a 40 ounce tomahawk ribeye? Yes, it all starts with the cleaning of the bone. Right. And that's a big bone. <laughs> It is definitely uh, a little to-go bag if you have any uh, dogs at home to take that home with you. Oh, awesome. But uh, our steaks are, after they're cleaned, uh, they're just simply seasoned with salt and pepper. Really? So salt and pepper goes on the steak, okay. Wow, like that's that. a nice amount of salt and pepper as well. I yeah. like that. Salt and pepper too, like the basics. I love it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, nothing's too tricky. The real key comes uh, with our broiler. They're customly built broilers, which lock in 1800 degree temperatures, wow. which locks wow. in all those juices and really makes uh, your steak uh, quite succulent. Everything's a la carte. Uh, you order your starch and your veg uh, and there's it's enough to share. Back it up though. Before the meal, why not start with a seafood tower? We have our large seafood tower here. It comes with eight large jumbo shrimp, six ounces of premier crab meat, with 12 ounces of Alaskan snow crab legs, and three pounds of live whole main lobster. Mm. And of course, all of our towers are served with our signature side sauces. We have the seafood sriracha lime sauce, uh, made homemade in-house, and of course, our cocktail sauce to go along with that. Can I finish this over oh, here? Oh, of course. So you put a little bit of greenery a in there, A little bit right? of green to give it a little color and Gotta presentation pop, for right? the table. We'll stick him up here, because he looks good up there. Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. I cannot wait to dig into this thing. Zeus makes artwork with the app. Zerilli's on dessert duty. We're gonna take our raw sugar and we're gonna caramelize our banana cream pie. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking the taking the pie here. That's okay. right. Oops. There we go, putting some that sugar heavy, on it. ain't it? It is a heavy pie. <laughs> How much sugar, what are we talking, like? Kind of cover that topping up. Okay. Mm, that looks good. How's that, more? I think that looks awesome. That looks perfect. Did I nail it in the first try? Okay, here we go. So I'll take this down here. Fire up my torch again here. All right. I'm getting good at this here. Okay. Flick this guy going on. Okay. A little closer till you start browning that top up. Look at, Look oh, at yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Great job. So Zeus, because I'm doing all the work here, I'm eating this whole thing, correct? Is that no, how I'm going to eat it. How, how close? <laughs> Am I good? Oh, that's an excellent job. That looks great. All right. That looks all right. Mm. Excellent. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. All right. Love it. All right. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I'm take this over here. Thank you very much. Wait. Looks like Zeus is headed to a table. Will he share? Find out when What's Cooking Delmarva on Delmarva Life comes back.
Welcome back to What's Cooking Delmarva on Delmarva Life. Today, we're visiting the stunning and sumptuous Roos Chris Steakhouse at Glen Riddle Golf Club, a spot with a history as rich as its food. We have a museum wall um, down the perimeter of the back of the building with um, photographs that were taken right before we started the restoration process. And then we had um, local artist Patrick Henry he um, painted um, some originals that we have on the wall of Man of War and War Admiral throughout the building. What about the name Ruth's Chris? Where does that come from? Owner Kim Ruark Mahaley says it started in 1965 when a single mother named Ruth bought a local steakhouse in New Orleans to put her sons through college. For 10 years, she made it a huge success. It was called Chris Steakhouse. And after 10 years, there was unfortunately a fire that destroyed the steakhouse. So she uh, had to relocate a few blocks away and it was a much larger space. And per the lease agreement, she could not name it uh, an existing business in the town. So that's how it got its name, Roos Chris Steakhouse. And what a steakhouse it is. So what's your favorite part about the seafood tower? Uh, I would say uh, it's our crab meat. Okay. Uh, our premier crab meat here, uh, we feature fresh bird uh, colossus mm. crab meat, and uh, it is delicious. Mm. My goodness, it looks delicious. I cannot wait to get into this. Mm, that's good. How about a hot towel in between courses? Am right. I doing that right, John? You're doing it perfect. Look at that, seeds and all, right? Yes. <laughs> To get those sticky hands from the towers. Oh wow! So okay. A great way to clean up before oh, wow. the main course. Check that out. Oh man, that feels great. Yeah. Can you? Can I use this on my face as well? You can. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. What a really nice touch. I love this. They really have thought of everything, down to the selection of the perfect steak knife. All of it important for when the main course makes its way out. Oh. And how about the touch of having the tomahawk bone on the table? Wow, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Wow, that looks amazing. I love how this thing is very still sizzling. Plate. Thank you so much. You hear that sizzle, guys? Chef, we have our lobster mac right there. Mm. One of our largest portion sides we have in the restaurant. Very popular. Mm. Of course, our cremini mushrooms with oh, a wow. demi glaze mm. on top. And of course, last but certainly not least, my personal favorite side, sweet potato casserole. Oh my goodness. Uh, extremely popular. Even people will order it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream for dessert. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Can I get a uh, scoop of vanilla ice cream on this, please? Looks divine, tastes delicious. Mmm. That's out of this world. Good job, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. I cannot wait for dessert. That thing is going to be so oh, good. Oh, well, I'm dessert. glad oh. you asked. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. Here's our banana wow. cream pie that I worked oh, so hard job, on. Katie. Spencer, that looks there awesome. you go. Are you okay. serious you made this? Well, I helped. You know, I uh, you, yeah, did a little work. Okay. You know, All right. You know what it. they say, video or it didn't happen. Yes. Yeah, All right. All right. Here we so, go. So this is your most popular dessert, isn't it? Oh, yes. This mm -hmm. is certainly our most popular dessert. Uh, you have the caramelized bananas on top. Mm. Um, of course, served on your uh, caramelized plate. Uh, very, very popular dessert indeed. Wow. I love it. Right. And you know, every time I go out, see, here's a fun fact about myself, about mm. Zeus. I always eat dessert first. And, and why is that? That way there's always room. I'm That's serious, I'm serious. Excellent. Because how often are you at, I'm, I'll be at a restaurant mm -hmm. and then I have a great meal and mm -hmm. then I say, oh, they're like, do you want dessert? And I'm too full. So I that know. is a great way to do it. I do it all the time, it's genius. Yeah. And again, I mean, it's, I don't know, I have the sweetest tooth ever. Yeah. So I'm always going for dessert first. And there are times, I mean, even here at Ruth's Chris, I've gotten the banana cream pie to start and then I'll get another dessert as well. Yep. Two desserts. Yes, and that's how I keep this beautiful figure. That's it, you know? Mm -hmm. So is this your first? For sure. Who's Chris banana cream pie? I think this is my first banana cream pie ever. Are you serious? Yeah, I oh, don't wow. think to order it, but here we go. All right. Do, 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 do. Almost feel bad eating it. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. How awesome is that, right? Mm, that is so good. <laughs> the filling is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's right. delicious. Yes. 
That's awesome. Yeah. So Ooh, and the crunch is so fun, crunchy mm -hmm. and creamy at the same time. Now, fun fact uh, about this banana cream pie. So, if I'm not mistaken, there are about 150 Ruth's Chris locations worldwide. There are. How many offer the banana cream pie? Uh, chef, that would be one Ruth's Chris. That really? The banana cream pie. That's pretty awesome. No guys. way. Yes. Right. Uh, it is now exclusively uh, to our location only. Uh, oh. They have to be made uh, by hand every day, so it is a little bit of a labor of love, but uh, it's just too good not to make. Whew. All right, so be honest, Katie, what did you think of Ruth's Chris? I love Ruth's Chris. The food, phenomenal. But really what's going to stand out to me is every little touch they make just to make your experience so special. And it really was special. Hey, listen, guys, you saw it. Come out, check these guys out, and we will see you right here next time on What's Cooking Delmarva. Ciao.